Hey guys, Josh with Carl's Mower and Saw. And today we're gonna answer a couple questions around your auto mower and winter. What should we do? Should we leave it out all winter? Is it okay to leave this out all winter? Um, if I am putting it away, how do I do that? All those sorts of things that we get quite often. And, and the first thing is, yes, I highly, highly, highly recommend putting this away. We've got some sensitive electronics in here. We've got a lot of moisture over winter. We got freezing. We've got just stuff going on. And guess what? Your lawn is not going to be growing. So I think it's a really good thing to be putting this away for winter. Usually for most people, that is a mid-November sort of time frame. There's variables. You know, how wet is it? How early did the frost come on? That sort of thing. But, but really thinking about it come November, middle of November, putting this away. You don't want your grass to get too long and then have to bring it out in the spring and have the mower just be suffering to get caught up. But you also don't want to go too late into the season where you're going to damage your lawn because it's mowing or potentially risk damaging the mower because you didn't get it put away. It's kind of like an irrigation. The sprinkler system is, when do I blow it out, right? Should I blow it out? Here we go. We should take this inside for the winter. We should get it in, in somewhat of a climate controlled uh, place. Whether that's a heated garage or not, I really don't care. I really want it in a building where the freezing is minimal, where it's protected from the elements. So first things first is make sure that the battery is fully charged. So have it in the charger overnight, getting fully charged, and then go ahead, flip the lid, enter your code, pull it out of the dock. And then if you lift it up on its nose like this, you're gonna see a little stop kill button right there. So we're gonna just Turn it off, okay? It is now, the mower itself is shut off. Well, we could simply take the mower and put that in the garage and that would be a good move. But did you know there's some brains in this thing too? There's a little, there's a little microchip, a little circuit board in there. And I'd like to get that inside and protected as well as my power supply. So this one is mounted, I don't know if you can see it. This one is mounted to the side of a post and it's screwed in. So I'm gonna have to get my screw gun out and take that out but I wanna get the power supply, the power cord, the dock and the mower all put away as one package together. Usually when it comes time to put it away, you know, I'm gonna make sure it gets cleaned out underneath and wiped off. Many people elect to have us do that servicing for them at Carl's Mower and Saw. We are excited to help you with that process. And if you want it completely hands off, we will come out if you're in our service area and, and actually take your mower out of commission and do the service and then help you recommission it in the spring. So let's get to it. So we gotta open this up on the back. So we're gonna open the lid. I think most people are gonna know how to do that. There's a button on the back and I can lift up and open the lid. So the first thing is let's get the power disconnected. I'm trying to hold my camera and do this. Then if you take a look, this one has three wires. It has a AR and AL and a guide wire. So some of them are gonna have up to five wires going behind them. So we're gonna just unplug those. Good first thing is to make sure that the wires are labeled because this is something you may not remember in the spring and then you'll fight it. So this one has an AL label on it. This one has, I think if I recall, had a guide wire label on it. And then the other one has an AR. If it doesn't have a label, get a piece of duct tape real quick and a permanent marker and let's get those written on. And then, so those are unplugged. Then I'm gonna to have to take the screws out of the base. Uh, these ones I had just pushed in, because to be honest, this one had already been put away for winter. So, so pull these screws out, okay? Put that off to the side, and now I can gently lift the dock up and it'll probably pull the wires out if it doesn't work. Let me set the camera down here. Then I might just have to help feed them out down through that hole. Okay, so they're gonna come out drop down. There's my dock. My dock is free. Close the lid. Now let's take a look at what I really like to do. Now there's a couple ways around it. You could simply take your wires, AL, AR, G3, and I could put them in a Ziploc bag. That might work. Or I have this sweet little co connector protection box. So this guy, open this up, this sucker will come out and this lid comes off like 
So, bam, and I've got locations to put them in. And then there's actually stake pockets. So if I go in like this, I'm gonna hook up this one. And these little wire connectors on the end, they, they're designed to fit right in there. So they hold in solid. They're protected from the elements. It's just a super easy way. Uh, keeps your stickers protected. So we're just gonna hook all these in here like so. One more. I love this way of doing it. If you do leave the power cord out, let's say your power cord is partially buried or just a pain, there is even a connection spot for this power cord. So I can come in here like so and do the same thing for the, there we go, power cord. Now I like to take my power cord in if I can, but I know in certain applications, it is not the option that is available. So I'm gonna pop in this lid back on like so. And then this is gonna sit on the ground. I'm gonna put two of my stakes in just to keep it in place. And there we go. Okay, so in review, yes, take your automower in for the winter. Make sure it is fully charged. Now the best thing you can do is take in your automower, your dock, your power supply, and your power cord. Put it away, a warm spot, a dry spot, a, a stable environment, and you're gonna have a longer life out of your automower. For all kinds of tips and tricks, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel, or if you need some more advice or help, reach out to us at Carl's Mower and Saw. We are your auto mower experts, and we look forward to helping you get the most out of your Husqvarna auto mower.